In this next example we're going to create a program that takes in the base and height of a triangle without right angles uh, and output the area. <coughs> Again, um, decomposing the problem, we know we've got two inputs this time, base, height, and uh, we'll be outputting the area. So once again, let's declare our variables. So we're going to have three this time. Base, we'll go with a, a real. Height, again we'll go with a real. And area. And if you've watched the previous video, I'm going to s you'll know why I'm going to set area to string. If you haven't reviewed the first video, uh, I'll explain as we go along. So this time we need to ask for the base. Please enter the base length. And we'll take an input in, which is obviously going to be base. And we'll do the same for the height. Please enter the height. And we'll bring another input in. We'll do our calculation. Assignment. So, area. I'm going to use the two fixed again, and as you'll know, that's to come. That's why we're using a string up here. So it's going to convert to string, allow us to format it to two decimal places. So the area is two fixed, 0 0.5 times, and then base times. Height H E I G H D. A mistake there. And one, two, um, close one there. So half the base times the height. Formatted, and don't forget we need to format this to two decimal places. Press OK, and we're going to output the area of this triangle is ampersand area okay let's test it so we'll go with five four and we've got the area of ten which is correct correctly formatted to two decimal places. Thanks for watching the second video. There'll be some more coming along shortly.